Hi and welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain how to draw a 4 bar mechanism in Creo. The 4 bar mechanism consists of 4 links. One fixed link called the frame and one rotating and the shortest link called the crank and the another 2 links called the coupler and the rocker. For more additional videos related to the concepts in mechanical engineering and design, please subscribe my channel. Ok, let's get into the video. At first, I'm going to create my first port by selecting new and make sure that your unit is in MMNS part solid. And then I'm going to select the front plane and click on sketch view and here I'm going to draw a center rectangle. Select the center rectangle and select the center point and draw a rectangle like this. And most importantly, I want this dimension as 216 and this dimension I'm going to enter value of 20. And then I'm going to create two circles on both sides. And also I'm going to draw the inner circles on both sides with a diameter value of 10. Let me change this diameter as 10. And I'm going to use and I'm going to use the trim tool to remove the unwanted entities in my sketch. Let me trim this too. And finally my sketch gets completed and I'm going to exit from my sketch and then I'm going to select the extrude command and I'm going to extrude it to value of 10. And then give a check mark to it. And that's it, my first part is created. So this is how easy as it is. I'm going to save this in the desktop by creating a new folder named called 4 bar mechanism. And then click on OK. And here I'm going to save my file name as crank. And then click on OK. And let me close this one and I'm going to create my second part for that I'm going to set the same unit system and then as usual I'm going to select the same front line and click on sketch view and here also I'm going to draw a rectangle but with different length but same width. So here I'm going to enter my length value as 485 and uh, I want this value as 20 as same and uh, here as usual I'm going to draw a circle on both sides. I'm going to draw the inner circle with the same value of 10 diameter. Let me change this as a diameter value of 10 and, and I'm going to trim the unwanted entities by using the trim tool. Let me delete these all things and I'm going to delete this also. And now my sketch gets completed and I'm going to give a check mark to it. And now I'm going to select the extrude command and I'm going to extrude it to a value of 10 and then give a check mark to it. And now my model is completed and I'm going to save this one in the desktop in the 4 bar mechanism folder with a file name of coupler. And then click on OK. And let me close this one and I'm going to create my third part which is the rocker part. I'm going to set the same unit system and select the front plane and here also I'm going to draw the same rectangle with a different length. So here I'm going to change my length as 581 and I want this with the same 20 and as usual I'm going to draw the circle on both sides. I want this inner circle diameter as 10 as similar in the previous case. And I'm going to change this diameter as 10. And now I'm going to trim the unwanted entities by using the trim tool.
and now my sketch gets completed and I'm going to extrude this one. I'm going to extrude it to a value of 10 and then give a check mark to it. And here I'm going to save this as a rocker path. And then click on OK. And I'm going to close this one and I'm going to create my final path which is a fixed link called a frame. I'm going to set the same unit system and then select a front plane and click on sketch view. And here also I'm going to draw a rectangle with different length. And I'm going to change this length as 831. And I want this width as 20 as usual. And I'm going to create both circles on both opposite sides. I want this inner circle diameter as 10 and I'm going to use the trim tool to remove the unwanted entities. I'm going to repeat the same procedure what I've done in this side with this opposite side. I'm going to draw the same two circles and I'm going to trim the unwanted entities by using the trim tool. And now my sketch gets completed and I'm going to give a check mark to it. And as usual I'm going to extrude it to a value of 10 and then give a check mark to it. And my all the final four parts are completed and I'm going to save this as frame. And then click on OK. And I have successfully created all my parts and now I'm going to assemble them in the assemble environment. I'm going to set the same unit as MMNS assembly design. And then I'm going to select the assemble command and first I'm going to import the frame path. And I'm going to set this as a default constraint and then give a check mark to it since it is fixed. And let me add some color to it. I'm going to apply the red color to it. And then select the assemble command and now I'm going to import the crank path which is the rotating part. I'm going to set this as a pin mechanism which is a rotary mechanism. And then I'm going to select this axis with this axis of the crank. And I'm going to arrest this translation motion by selecting this faces of the crank and this face of the frame. And now my connection definition gets completed and I'm going to give a check mark to it. And next I'm going to assemble the coupler. And here also I'm going to set the pin mechanism and then I'm going to select this axis of the crank with this axis of the coupler. And then I'm going to arrest the translation motion by selecting this side face with this side face of the coupler and now my connection definition gets completed and I'm going to give a check mark to it and now I'm going to assemble the final part which is called the rocker part and here also I'm going to set the same pin mechanism and here I'm going to select this axis of the fixed frame with this axis of the rocket path and here also I'm going to arrest the translation motion by selecting this side face with this side face and now my connection definition gets completed but I'm going to create the another constraint also so here I'm going to select the placement tab and select new set and here also I'm going to set the pin mechanism but with the coupler part select this axis with this axis of the rocker and in the translation motion I'm going to select this side face with this side face and my and now my connection definition gets completed and I'm going to give a check mark to it and here I have successfully created my FOBA mechanism and I'm going to check this mechanism by using the drag components and let me select this crank and rotate it like this and now my mechanism works fine and let me close this one and let me add some color to it 
I'm going to apply the blue color to the crank path and then yellow color to the coupler and then green color to the rocker path and now I'm going to animate this one go to the applications tab and select mechanism and in the mechanism I'm going to apply the servo motor first I'm going to select this axis of the crank to rotate in the profile details I'm going to select the angular velocity and here I'm going to enter a coefficient for velocity value as 50 and then give a check mark to it and now I'm going to select the mechanism analysis and I'm going to switch it to full screen and here I'm going to make this as a kinematic analysis and then I want this end time as 500 and I'm going to select the run command and now you see that my four bar mechanism was created successfully using the Creo and also you notice that there is only one rotating link called the crank whereas the other undergoes the reciprocating motion and that's it for the video and thank you for watching for more additional videos related to the concepts in mechanical engineering and design please subscribe my channel and once again thank you for watching